Hi, and welcome to Deborah Smith Music Video Tutorials. This video is designed to teach rhythmic transcription or dictation exercises in compound time using a rhythmic shorthand method. The first step in understanding how to do compound time rhythmic dictations is to first understand and have a very good sense of the beat and more importantly, the pulse. After all, the definition of rhythm is the pattern of longer and shorter sounds heard over the beat. However, in compound time, it is recognition of what sound or sounds you hear on the pulse that will help us most in transcription exercises. For example, listen as I read this compound time rhythm and tap the beat. Tam, tam, T T T tam, T T T T T T T. Now listen as I read a different compound time rhythm, but tap the pulse. One and a two and a T T T ta, T T T T tam, T ta tam, T T T tam. It is much clearer in this version how many sounds you hear on each pulse rather than on each beat. Rhythmic shorthand is a system of quickly notating how many sounds are heard on each pulse. Rhythmic dictation, step one. Above each bar in this rhythmic dictation, a stroke is written for each pulse. You will, of course, need to write pulse strokes for other dictations you complete. The time signature shows that there are six pulses per bar, so six pulse strokes have been written above each bar. During the first playing, listen to the rhythm given and point to the pulse strokes. One and a, two and a. As you continue listening and pointing, never stop pointing, make a mark on each pulse stroke where you hear sounds. For example, if you hear one sound on each of the first three pulses, write one diagonal line on each of the first three pulse strokes, like this. If you hear one sound on the fourth pulse stroke and one on the sixth, write a diagonal line on each of these pulses. If in the second bar you hear nothing until the fourth pulse, leave the first three pulse strokes of that bar empty. This will be a rest, a tie or a long note. And make a mark on the fourth pulse stroke of that bar. As you continue listening to repeated playings, Finish the rhythmic shorthand. Here it is for you to do so. One and a, two and a. Hopefully, this is where you heard sounds. Translate your shorthand onto the staff using notes before the final playing. This step can be made much easier by writing a rhythm set before you hear the dictation. A rhythm set is all the possible rhythms that may be used in a particular dictation. Where you heard one sound on each of the first three pulses, write three quavers like this. And where you heard one sound on the fourth pulse stroke and one on the sixth, write this. In the second bar, where you heard only one sound on the fourth pulse stroke, write this. Complete the dictation using your knowledge of compound time rhythms 
and your shorthand. It should look like this. Use the final playing to check your rhythm by saying it out loud in rhythm names as you listen. Here it is one final time. One and a, two and a. The process remains the same regardless of which rhythms are included. Thank you for listening.